G'day folks, Ashley from Ground Speed Gaming here and I just wanted to do a quick video on the use or managing of a constant speed prop in flight. So I've seen a few guys on flight sim who are not pilots in real life but I see some of the things they do and I'm like, oh, no, don't do that. And basically all you need to keep in mind with regards to managing this engine is the manifold pressure never wants to be higher or you never want the manifold pressure to be higher than your RPM. So currently we have, let's just squeeze up to 23. That's 23 inches of manifold pressure. And it's on 2300 RPM. So your throttle here, that's going to adjust your manifold pressure. The pitch lever, that's going to adjust your RPM. So we're currently in a cruise with 23 inches, 2300 RPM. So 2323, that's our current setting. And I'll, if I want to accelerate in order to go, to climb to a higher altitude, what you need to do is you always increase the RPM first and then the throttle. Raise the nose, climb to the altitude you want to climb to, and when you get there, lower the nose as you, as you normally would. And then allow it to accelerate just a little bit. And then pull the throttle back. Oh, descending now. Pull the throttle back and then pull the RPM back. So that way your manifold pressure never exceeds what the RPM is. Oh, now we're climbing. It is easier in real life because you can feel the G-forces on the aircraft, so. <laughs> but uh, that's the basic premise behind in-flight management of a constant speed prop or a variable pitch prop, really, is never let the manifold pressure go higher than your RPM. Now for takeoff and landing, you always have the pitch fully forward. So when you pull the throttle back, the RPM is going to drop. There it goes, it's dropping now. Push the throttle forward and the RPM is going to increase. So when it's fully forward, it's actually like flying a fixed pitch prop. And if you're coming into land and you've got the pitch fully forward, if someone pulls out on the runway or an animal runs out on the runway or something, you need to go around, you just simply go full throttle, your RPM's up, you'll climb, get out of there, go around and come back again. It's as simple as that. It's, it's really easy. So don't let um, having a, a constant speed prop or a variable pitch propeller freak you out. It's, it's, there's not a lot more to it. But uh, that's the general rule. is don't, don't let the manifold pressure ever be higher than the RPM. That, that's pretty much it. And it's really... It doesn't take long to get used to it. So you've got a prop now with a variable pitch that's most efficient, not only in a climb, but it's also more efficient in a cruise. Because the fixed pitch prop is generally built at a pitch of an angle that is most effective in a cruise. So it's not as efficient in the climb. And so now you've got one that's most efficient in a climb and also in a cruise. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video and uh, I'll see you later.